Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, viewers. What a beautiful and a glorious day. The day the Lord has made. Today is Thursday, the 5th of October, 2023. I'd like to encourage you to please gather your family as we listen to the Word of God. And we will be using the daily fountain of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion, a devotional guide. I pray that the Almighty will guide and bless us as we listen to his word this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Heavenly Father, please we ask that you come and help us. That every veil covering your word be removed in the name of Jesus. That the entrance of your word this morning will bring freedom in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. This morning our topic is soul to the spirit. So, to the Spirit. Our text is Galatians chapter 6, verse 1 to 8. Galatians chapter 6, verse 1 to 8. I read. Brethren, if a man is overtaken in any trespass, you who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of gentleness, considering yourself lest you also be tempted. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone thinks himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But let each one examine his own work, and then he will have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. For each one should bear his own Lord. Let him who is taught by the word share in all good things with him who teaches. Do not be deceived. God is not mock. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. So to the Spirit. So to the Spirit. Scripture, the word of God, contains numerous references to sowing and reaping. In other words, there is a time to sow and there is a time to reap. You can never reap without sowing. And you can only reap exactly what you have sown. Sowing and reaping constitute 
unalterable laws of seed time and harvest. To sow is to cultivate, as in planting seeds for growth. The farmer will always reap the same kind of plant or fruit as a seed sown. Especially in our period, uh, many have started reaping uh, what they sow. From the part of the country that I'm coming from, we, we are beginning to reap what we have sown in the course of the year. Paul compares the Christian life to tending a farmer's feed as believers. We can sow seed into one of the two fields. For us Christians, there are two ground, two fields that we sow our seeds, that we can sow our seed. One is the flesh, and number two is the spirit. You are either sowing into the flesh, or you are sowing into your spirit. And there is no way you can dodge this principle. As we make decisions, we must realize that everything we do, we either buy an investment in the flesh or the spirit. Whether knowingly or unknowingly, whether consciously or unconsciously, we are, there is an investment you are doing. You see, the, the, the fruits we, the fruit we produce, the fruit you produce, the fruit I produce, depend on which field you choose to sow into and what you sow. So when we see the outcome of fruits, we can now say, this is where you sow. This is where you sow. Paul encouraged in the word of God. He says, so let's not get tired of doing what is good at just the right time we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up in galatians chapter 6 verse 9 so what does it mean to sow to our flesh sowing to our flesh means cultivating and developing our sinful desires so there is something we are cultivating there is something we are developing into our sinful desire so as we cultivate as we plant into that sinful desire definitely there is going to be a harvest we sow to the flesh by nurturing by nurturing and indulging it so that it grows and produce fruit. Now let's go back a little bit backward and read. If you read Galatians chapter 5, we have to make reference to Galatians chapter 5 and especially verse 19. And now the works of the flesh are evidence which are idolatry, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, loudness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissension, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, rivalries, and the like. Look at the outcome of our sowing. He says, like I told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. So when you sow in the flesh, the outcome, the result, the reaping is a hellfire. Those who belong to Christ. Look at the conflict now. Now you are either sowing to the flesh, but when you sow to the spirit, the harvest will be different. Look at sowing in the spirit, for example. He said those who belong to Christ 
have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. That is Galatians chapter 5 verse 24. So the seed we sow are linked to our thought and action. Paul instructs us to throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitude, putting on your new nature, created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. In Ephesians chapter 4, verse 22 to 25. Some Christians saw to the flesh all day long, allowing their minds to dwell on resentment, impure thoughts, and self-pity, and then wonder why they don't reap a spiritual harvest of righteousness. How can you do that? When you dwell in impure thoughts, you can't reap a spiritual harvest. Remember our topic says, sow to the spirit. Sow to the spirit. How do we sow to the spirit? Number one, we sow to the spirit when we stop letting our sinful nature control our minds. A mind controlled by the flesh leads to death. But letting the Holy Spirit, letting the Spirit of God control your mind leads to life and peace. Romans chapter 8 verse 6. So when you allow yourself to be controlled by the Holy Spirit, there is life and peace. Do you want to experience freedom in Christ? Hear what Paul says. Walk by the Spirit. Live by the Spirit. And keep in step with the Holy Spirit. Number two, we are looking at how we can sow in the spirit. We sow to the spirit by cultivating and nurturing the fruit of the spirit, which is love. It has to be a deliberate step. You have to cultivate. You have to nurture. Nurture joy. Peace. Apostle Paul said, let the peace of Christ dwell richly in you. You have to deliberately allow it. It's a deliberate effort. He said, let There must be a deliberate opening of your life, of your heart, for peace to reign. Forbearance. Kindness. Goodness. Faithfulness. And gentleness. Self-control. So, you have to cultivate as you cultivate, you have to nurture it. Remember, you are a child of life. Number three, we sow to the spirit when we fix our thoughts on what is true. Fixing our thoughts on what is true. Philippians chapter 4 verse 8 says, If you fix our hearts on what is true, it produces pure, honorable, right, lovely, admirable. Paul says, think about things that are excellent, worthy of praise. So this morning, I challenge you, I encourage you. Think. Think about what is true. Think about what is pure. Think about what is honorable. Think about what is true, what is right, what is lovely, what is admirable. If you think about those things, if you dwell on it, there will be no place for flesh in our lives. As we immerse ourselves in God's word, in fellowship with other believers, in praise, in worship and prayers, we sow to the Spirit. Let's, let thanksgiving be always in our lips. 
when you immerse yourself in prayer, when you immerse yourself in worship, when you immerse yourself in reading the scripture, in teaching, in carrying out the work of God, in going out for evangelism, mission and evangelism, you are sowing into the spirit. There will be no space for the flesh to dwell among you. Take note. The reward for sin come in the form of marital difficulties and divorce, financial difficulties, a mind filled with images of past sinful behavior, thoughts of great anxiety, suspicions, bitterness, and discount. Only Jesus can set us free from all of these and make us free indeed. Why not choose life? And avoid suffering. Why not choose life and avoid conflict? Why not choose life and avoid misery? Sow to the spirit and reap the eternal life. See, you don't sow in vain. When you sow in the spirit, there is a reward. When you sow in the spirit, there is going to be a great harvest. It will be eternal harvest. It will be eternal harvest. If you walk in the spirit, we will not fulfill the loss of the flesh. May we learn the lesson of sowing and reaping in our lives. Learn the story. Learn to walk with God. Learn to live a righteous life. Learn to be obedient. Learn. Learn. And how do you learn it? The word of God. The word of God should be your guide. The word of God should be your model. The word of God said, do not allow this word to depart from your heart. Remember, so to the spirit. Sow into your heart with the word of God. Devote time to study the word. Spend time with the Lord. Spend time in prayers. I also want to encourage my viewers. Do not ever miss any activities. That is another way to sow in the spirit. Because the Bible says, iron sharpening iron. Look for a believing place where you can fellowship together with one another. Where your spirit can be sharpened. Attend fellowship. Attend programs. Attend Bible study where the word of God is being taught. Many Christians today are weak. See how our churches are empty today. Because... Many are running away from attending services. You can only feed your spirit. You can only sow to your spirit by attending a believing Bible's church. Where you can be taught the word of God. May the Lord continue to guide, keep, and uphold us. Even as we continue to sow to the spirit. We have been warned. Do not sow to the flesh. Because the ending of it is not a good one. Think about our choices. And also think about the consequences of our choices. If you choose to sow into the flesh, the harvest will not be a good one for you and I. But if we choose to sow in the spirit. Ha! That is eternal life for us. I pray God will bless us. And bless our day. As we continue to sow. In the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And amen. Our dear Lord, our Father. It has been a wonderful time. In your presence. 
Lord, where we have erred, we ask that you forgive us in the name of Jesus Christ. But we have sinned against you in diverse ways by allowing flesh to take control over us. But thank God your word today has encouraged us. We have been encouraged to sow to the spirit. That as we go about doing our normal activities, that your grace will be sufficient unto us to continue to sow into our spirit, which is eternal life. Thank you, Jesus Christ, because you died on the cross in order to set us free. We receive that salvation today through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, Subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.